We'll take five suggestions, and then uh, we'll do this. You put a hand up, which is so polite. I love it, yeah. I love it. You're like, at hip-hop concerts, what do they say? Put your hands up. Yes, I'll do that. Uh, hello. What would you like a rap about? Vaginas. Vaginas. Cool. That's a very broad topic, obviously. That's not a criticism of the size of vaginas. That was a, a, a misspoken sentence there. Um, vaginas. Very broad, but let's, let's be more specific. So let's hone in. Let's, you know, like the effects of cranberry juice on a vagina or, you know, mismatched labia and how that's perfectly normal and not something to be worried about, but not those because I've already suggested them. There's so many topics to do with vaginas. <laughs> you can trust me. Don't. It's not like a test. Don't be like. I don't think he'll know anything about this. No. Go. Go for it. I don't know. Um, Someone else can help you out if you want. I feel like. Vagina. What was that? Hairy. Yeah. A hairy vagina. Lovely. A voluptuous follicular vagina. You were going to say that, but you didn't want to say. It. You could have mimed it. There you go. That would have been fine. <laughs> um, so uh, a hairy vagina. Lovely. That's a great first suggestion for a Sunday. <laughs> you absolute animals. <laughs> Uh, if you're in the, kind of these, these little tables yeah, here. Storming Old Trafford. It's the storming of Old Trafford. That sounds like a battle from a thousand years ago, but what happened today, Manchester United were due to play Liverpool in the Northwest Derby, and um, a lot of Manchester United fans occupied the pitch, and they had to postpone, and then later call off the game. And I, I imagine that you, so I was very annoyed, so I was quite looking forward to it, and I did get up in time for the kickoff. There we go. No one else is going to enjoy that bit, but hairy vaginas and the storming of Old Trafford. Middle of the room, if you're in this kind of area, what do you want to rap about? Aliens playing um, virtual reality. You said aliens playing virtual reality. I like that. Thank you. Someone over there uh, made a kind of expression as if to speak. What were you going to say? <laughs> Internal combustion engine. Internal combustion engine. Yeah. Do you have a particular vehicle that you want that in? Oh, Aston Martin. An Aston Martin. Great. Okay. Uh, and then people over here, what do you want to hear a rap about? Stinky balls, good. <laughs> this then, lovely people, is going to be... Yeah, it's going to be a rap, a freestyle rap made up on the spot based entirely on those suggestions. If we can drop that beat, good sir, that'd be delightful. The storming of Old Trafford, a hairy vagina, an internal combustion engine, uh, aliens in virtual reality, and stinky balls. Are we able to press play on that track? Yes, uh, and do not worry, guys. It will not be anywhere near as atrociously, embarrassingly, toe-curlingly bad as you're expecting a privately educated, middle-class, white British boy to be. I'm very excited to end the show this way, even if all of you seem totally unconvinced. This is going to be great. We'll start off with that one, because I think that's the one you know least about. Okay. You gotta trust the facts I'm spitting I hope you all believe 149 years ago Newton Heath was the name of a team Built by a foundry Now in the present 2020 E1 The Glazers That's American family They came in They thought they'd be handy Using all the financials But they drew out all the profit And people now They're sick to the hind teeth They say stop it Avram You need to back off So they went on the pitch On the hallow turf They broke through the turnstiles By the dressing room We could and get football in the afternoon that one guy's nodding he's feeling assured saying yeah he really nailed the storm in Old Trafford it only happened today this was meant to be between you and me a topic so contemporary but that's okay maybe it's just in my mind I got an oculus quest I use it to unwind put it on my head my eyes look like a car like I'm driving when I'm in the VR I'm not saying I'm an alien I'm a homo sapiens but if I go out to outer space I'll be facing them and saying guys Guys, you want to do this a favor you can get controllers and play Beat Saber they'll be blown away they're like my gosh this is really great I want to buy VR I say other things to their little green face you could pretend you're in a car in first place in a race they're like wow I'm really starving for the experience of Aston Martin driving Chris can you give me some instruction because they don't understand internal combustion they use magnets they use nuclear power but if you've got a little little time let me break it down for you in the 50s martins were on the freeways everybody starting used to use a crank about 30 years before but if you pop the hood inside then you would have saw a little piston set going all around but if you're in germany they don't use the pound they use the euro they have a vankel rotary engine it's different slightly well i really should mention always use this the spark from the plugs i know this is not what you expect from this thug from the uk you're like all right 
me old china rap about that airy vagina of course i will it doesn't matter if it's long if it's like the amazon forest with all of the frogs well if there's crabs or other animals in there my main advice would be to shave off your hair i say please guys trim it down this time maybe get a reference from your obgy and it doesn't matter if it's shaved or it's waxed if it's coming out you fly when you open it a bat is creeping out there like the tendrils of the ivy whether it be hairy whether it be shiny i don't mind even if it's a little bit smelly even if it's sweaty after you've been doing ballet but one thing that always appalls me if i'm at a urinal if i'm in a stall see a guy next to me and i'm like yo y'all you need to get some wipes on the side of your balls why are they so smelly what is all the scent it's really horrible and the guy i know i meant well saying he should take a shower more frequently why because there's little dick cheese and it's seeping free out of the side he's got to use the shower gel why because his balls they be smelling up to high heaven high hell it smells something satanic that's a freestyle rap i hope all of y'all understand it we didn't plan it and it started with the football and ended over there with the horrible sticky ball <laughs> Thank you very much. You guys are delightful.